Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is Mods 101. How to install mods, so community mods and commercial mods in Flight Simulator 2020. I know a lot of people are still having difficulty with this. So it will be mods, things like aircraft, scenery, liveries. So you've got the A320 liveries right here with different liveries. This is a community mod. All different types of mods in Flight Simulator 2020. So let's get on with this video. Okay, so let's start with the most obvious thing here. So I'm in the marketplace from the main menu. Whatever you buy in the marketplace. So say I went to landmarks. Uh, Man-made will do fine. Just pick anything. So I'll ch choose a Hong Kong. If I were to buy that and download it, it will stay in your Flight Simulator 2020 library. So if you did a fresh reinstall of Flight Simulator 2020, you would just go to your main menu, go to options, go to, oh, actually go to profile. So let's do that again. So main menu, profile, go to your content manager. And I'll show you here, actually, I've not got my London landmarks and this mod, this airport installed, it's in my Flight Simulator 2020 library. So if I reinstall this, these will show up again because I bought them from the Flight Simulator 2020 marketplace. So if I want to reinstall them, I'll just click it and download it. It will always be there in other, in other words. So whatever you buy from the marketplace, even if you did a fresh reinstall of Flight Simulator 2020, you can just re-download them. Like I showed you before, go to your profile and then go to your content manager. And under not installed, it will show you the mods you've not got installed. Under installed, it will show you the mods you have installed. Like the Washington landmarks, I've installed that. And various other things. So now let's go on to community mods and how to install them. Okay, so over on my PC, or in my file system, I've created a new folder just called Community Mods. It doesn't matter where this is, I've just made a folder and stuck a couple of community-made mods in there. So I've got Liverpool, it's like a mod that fills out the city of Liverpool in the simulator. And I've got the A320 livery mods as well. I'm going to try and remember where I got these from and link it in the description for you below because I imagine a number of people will be asking me otherwise where I got these from. Now the simple way to do these is just highlight both of them, right click and copy or cut. Actually would fully recommend copying them in case you want to go back to them at a later date. Then go to your PC and if you know where your community folder is for Flight Simulator 2020, just go to it. I made a bespoke install of Flight Simulator 2020. I have the Steam edition and I just told it to install in a bespoke place. So I made up my own install path, which is on my E drive. It'll be different for you, but it's for me, it's on my E drive. And in FS2020 folder, that's where my community folder is. So I would click in there. I've got a number of mods in there already. I've even got the liveries. But I would right click and paste and that will paste both of those mods in there. I won't do it at the moment because I've got Flight Simulator running to show you something else. But that's how you would do it. So you go to wherever your community mods are. Highlight them, whatever mods you want to add. By the way, typically when you download these, they'll come in form of a zip file. 
Just unzip them and you'll get these folders which have different uh, things inside them. So in fact that Liverpool one, I wouldn't copy the top one there. I'll copy this one where it's just got Liverpool. Inside there it's got various different folders. They just go straight into your community folder. So with the deliveries one for example, you've got sim objects and all these different things. Just copy the whole folder into your community folder in your Flight Simulator 2020. Now that's pretty much the easy way to do it. If you're struggling to find where your community folder is, I'll put the default path down below in the description of this video. Dis default for the Steam version and default for the Microsoft Store version. If you're still struggling to find your community folder, there is another way to find it in the simulator. I'm going to talk you through this slowly. If you go to Options, so from the main menu, go to Options, left click, go to General, so left click in General, and under these tabs to the left here, bottom from the bottom up, second from the bottom up, you've got Developers. Left click on Developers, and just turn it on, left click either tab here just to enable developer mode. Apply and save. Now you've got developer mode, you've got these sort of uh, your frame rates, frames per second rather, all different kind of information here. I'm not going to concentrate on this for the moment. What you do get also are these menus that pop up as well. You can see them to the top left here. Under tools, left click on that and left click on virtual file system then you'll get this pop-up this box virtual file system and it's here where you can find your community folder or where it's located left click on watched bases and it should show you at the bottom here wherever your community folder is it should show you the path to it unfortunately I can't do anything I don't think I can open it from there, but regardless, if you're struggling to find where your community folder is, that's the way to do it on the virtual file system in developer mode. Like I said, just go to tools and go to virtual file system, it'll bring up this and then just click on that watched basis and it will show you where your community folder is. So that's another way, let's just disable that, I don't need it. That's another way of finding out where your community folder is and how to install community player made mods. Now let's show you some other form of mods that are out there and how to install them. Okay, I guess this mod will be a good one to show you. It's the Functional Aircraft Carrier, HDS Aircraft Carrier. I've covered this in a review, I'll link it in the top right for you. But it was, it's a different way of installing a mod. So typically, like I said, it will come in form of a zip file. So let's open that. Go Renoir. And then it will just show you it's got an application. So what I'll do, I'll just right click on that and extract it here in this folder. And then it will bring up this exe file, a different way of installing mods and application. So let's do this. Let's double click on this and let's show you a different way of installing or how some mods install differently. Now on this particular mod, this is a front end, it doesn't matter where this part will go. So I can just click that anywhere. This is a different, uh, <laughs> different type of mod. It has a front end to it which you can bring up out of the simulator. So this part, for this part, it doesn't matter where it goes, I'm just going to choose E for that, where I've got my flight simulator installed. Uh, it's just going to install into a separate folder on drive E. Let's just get past that part. Now for this part, this is where it's important and where a number of these type of mods will ask you where your community folder is. And look here, it actually shows you where the default path 
for the community folder is for the Steam version and store version. Like I said before, I've got a bespoke place where I've installed Flight Simulator 2020. So if I had it in the default uh, place, I would just look at them, click on Browse, move that window down, and then go follow these paths. Like I said, I've got a bespoke place, which is on Drive E. I showed you this before, but it's just for my version under Flight Simulator 2020 and Community. So wherever your community folder is, you would browse it from here. So you wouldn't copy and paste, you would actually have to go through this installer and then install it this way. So I'll click OK and click on Next, because that's where my community folder is. And it will install, I might as well create a desktop shortcut, it will install the package. Press install. I'll cut this so you don't have to watch through it. And there you go, all done. So I can, I, in this particular case, on this mod, if I say launch carrier module, it will launch the front end, which I showed you in the first step. This is nothing to do with the simulator. This is like a separate uh, program. That's a front end. Once I've uh, run Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This mod should be in there. I would have to connect it in this case because it's a different mod. Go and look at my original review which I linked on this. I talk you through this. But some mods do install with, I'll come out of that, with an EXE file. That's the important part. So like I said, you would double click on that EXE and then go through the various steps. I'm not going to do it again. I've just installed it. But go through the various steps and it will ask you right, right away here, in, in this case, because I've installed the front end, where your community folder is. And you would have to browse and point it to your community folder. So you would have to know where your community folder is for mods like this, this which have an EXE installer. Okay, so let's go on to the last type of mod, which is to do with Orbix. Okay, so the last type of mod installation I want to show you are from programs like Orbix. Uh, you can just type in Orbix Central in Google and then you can download this program. I just find this a more reliable way of getting scenery packages in Flight Simulator 2020. The marketplace can often be very unreliable as many of you have found out for downloads. So I prefer to download through Orbix if I'm buying their products. So once you've installed this, buy a product if you want to buy one. Then you go to my products and let's say Sydney here. I don't have that installed currently. Click on Sydney and then just go to install. Now I believe I've had this installed for some time so I don't completely remember but I believe it links directly to your Flight Simulator 2020 wherever you have that installed. The program picks it up. So if I say install directly into your simulator folder and click on that, and it does say there, if you're unsure, choose this option. It will simply install into my Flight Simulator 2020. I don't think it does it in the community folder. I believe, I'm not sure on that. It might do, but it just installs it directly into Flight Simulator 2020 for you. So that will carry on installing. Connection interrupted. I'm not sure what's going on there. But it will. it's quite a large file, this one. It's 7.6 gigabytes, so I won't let you sit through this one. But that will carry on installing. And then when it's installed, launch Flight Simulator 2020. With all these community mods, the different way of installing all of them, it's important you don't have Flight Simulator 2020 running. Otherwise, you could come up with some kind of incompatibilities and problems. So come out, as you notice, I don't have Flight Simulator running. Come out of Flight Simulator 2020. And then for each of these ways I've showed you for installing mods, do it outside when Flight Simulator is not running. That's what I fully recommend. So that will carry on installing. I might as well let it install because it's a fantastic scenery is Sydney by Orbix. So I'll let it continue and then I'll be able to play this. 
So there you go, that's my way, that's my 101 and my tutorials for installing mods in Flight Simula Simulator 2020. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Give the video a like if it's been helpful. Subscribe for more many Flight Simulator 2020 videos on the way. And I'll see you soon.